guys, the Sucker is Gay Hey video, and today I'm talking about Grand for Fantasy Versus that undergoes major changes and it could ca cause concern for its dedicated community. Despite some very unfortunate release timing, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has done quite well since its release. So it's so is a shakeup really necessary? In a few days, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus will be receiving a game-changing pass which has been in the works and for for quite a few months now. The reason it's been looked at as a game changer is just that it's been the first perfect balance patch for the game in a while, but the, because of the developers have openly said that they intend to add a three brand new mechanic to this game, which is very interesting because I have no idea what the three mechanic is, so this is my first time hearing it. And I haven't really played Grand Blue Fantasy Versus in a while, so if, if I do like hop on to the game again, there probably, there's probably going to be some changes to the mechanics that I didn't know about, so I probably get to learn something from here because it's my first time hearing it. With recent tweets confirming that the game is being patched on Thursday, June 22nd, it's June 7th, so I'm not sure if it's patched yet, but it should be patched by the time I'm done talking about this, or after. So Pacific time, so Friday, June the 3rd, for other regions of the world, it's almost entirely certain that it will be a patch that discussed as Grand Blue Fantasy Versus fans who have been playing since launch. Though the excitement isn't really what I'm feeling, having discussed it with many other community members, I know that I'm not alone in feeling a sense of dread. So why is that exactly? Despite the worst release timing hit any fighting game, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has proven itself to be a little game that can not only have the community riled up through the COVID-19 pandemic, even the regions with the game's netcode provided some fair optimal matches, but the game continues a high amount of entries for offline majors, and even beating an out game like Dragon Ball Fighter Z and Mortal Kombat 11, Ultimate and Evo registration, at least the last number of releases. Yeah, I know a friend of mine has, like, Entered in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. I know that Grand Blue Fantasy Versus tournament, I think they had like last year, but then I know they do like a lot of them like in Japan, so it's really really popular, but not so much in America. Same thing in online mode, you can't really find anyone online anymore, which is kind of sad, but you can at least find people in Japan, but if you're like not that good you probably just like get one match and done and you have to find like other servers like New York or some other country to at least play with people because you try to find some in America it's like zero three five if you're lucky enough when new characters comes up it's like 30 and 27 which is usually the peak time when I play online mode because I know I'll never get this chance again and I play it until like people are not interested in that character anymore. Or they like stop picking up the game and they wait for like another character to come out. So it gets pretty stale online once you like once there's like no new character, no season patch or anything. So hopefully this one, either bad or for what it's gonna like have a positive or negative change on it. A lot more people are going to try it because of these news, and I'm probably going to try it with this news too. With Offline finally returning with this Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, time finally, sh finally shined in a way it never got it. It got it as original release back in February 2020, when the game was staled for a main slot on the Arctic Evil 2020 tour World Tournament circuit, which ended up being cancelled due to obvious 2020 related reasons. So now that the game is finally in position to showcase the world just how fun it is and how much the community has been enjoying it, the patch was promisedly something so drastic as the three brand new mechanics can easily give a pause to people who are excited for the game. The current state of the game is quite high in regards to especially as a fair as balance goes, with the season 2 monster Belial being recently toned down. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I haven't played that game in so long for Grand Blue. One of the reasons why, because I was doing Belial's, I think I was playing at 6, and I was trying to defeat him with 6, but I couldn't do it because I was defeating Belial, and every time I tried to, like, change up, like, the light, darkness, water element for my weapons and rank up my weapons, it still wouldn't be enough because I still couldn't defeat him. 
I had like a stream that took like forever because I couldn't get through his boss battle. It was just so hard for no reason. I mean, there was other boss battles like Zoe. Zoe was hard, but she wasn't like this unreasonably hard for no reason. So Belial was like so hard. I asked friends for help and it's just like, oh, it took forever. Um, Maybe I'm hoping to stream that game again. So I hope we can defeat him because that story mode, I haven't defeated him yet just because of that. He was just so hard to use. He's just so hard to beat. Like every chance you get, you get attacked either the way. If you're up in the air, he uses like those sharp crystals, the red ones, up in the air. Forward if you like try to dodge it or like block. He'll still find a way to like at least hit you with the big damage, which is really annoying. And although he is still very good in case made to be the number one character in the game, many characters who struggle down at the very bottom tier seems a valuable and tournament play. This is clearly evident by characters like Lu Wang, considered by many the worst in the game, netting a second place at the last week combo combo breaker 2020 courtesy of Luz. So yeah, my friend actually mains like two low tier like unfortunately there are low tier play characters he second he mains luang which is like really bad he said like it was very hard for like him to play the game because people have like advantage characters or who characters who at least like are very good but for luang luang was just not very good it wasn't that good either for Soros too so my friend mains source and he doesn't he's he tells me how much he hates playing Source because the character sucks so much and they don't give him a buff and they give random buffs to like other characters instead of him for some reason. I don't know why they do that. Games some game developers sometimes do that unless they're vocal about it, but I'm guessing no one was vocal about Lu Wayne or Source because not meh. Not that many people play the game with not that many people play the character but makes sense. But it is very frustrating if you play those low tier type of characters in fighting game. It's especially hard if you're trying to like be good. I know I played Talon from Soul Calibur. She's considered low tier, I think, but I feel like for me, I f she's not like that bad. She's not like really, really bad, but she's considered low tier. But I found some people through online who was like very good with her. And sh um, for Talon, she goes. She has like a very good speed and she's also small so that's like the main advantage for her as well but for Wayne and Soros, Soros is a big buff character but he doesn't really do that much with um other characters who are higher than them like Zeta or Berlio that's more faster than him and they're they're like this not the same height as them but they're not buff but they're just more faster and stronger than him with buffs and stuff like that so it makes it even more difficult in short the game is great spot that it stands right now anyone who has a long experience with final games know that even just one new mechanic can break the entire game meta entirely it's implemented in a smart way the concern obviously grows exponentially bigger with the promises of three new mechanics not only that, but the ads worries of putting changes to something potential so the game changing in mere two months before the main stage blah blah that Evo 2022. Could be a recipe for disaster. Oh, I can see why people are worried. Why would they want to do a patch now? Wouldn't they want to do a patch like after Evo? Because that's just going to cause some trouble and people are just not going to understand. And pro players are also going to have to like be on the game or be on the lookout so when the patches comes out they're just gonna have to like play the game and see the mechanics before they can even do it because it's just gonna be like hectic because they're not used to this type of patch and they have to get used to it and that's not to say that absolutely will be the reason i see the worry i feel so much across many concerns to the community it's simply because we don't know what's coming and it could be massive shame if it will be ruined is something something amazing thing that we could already have going. <laughs> Although the mechanics are highly likely to be universal, much like the recent additional TV shift to Street Fighter V Champion Edition, that doesn't mean that they're equally valuable. The same mechanic can affect the characters vastly different ways, even turn matchups entirely on their heads in some situations. Fear and Profanity vs. is clearly very solid balance between offense and defense play. The vast majority of matchups feels entirely playable if you just put the effort into it. 
but the slot is large as a new defensive mechanism could such as alpha count counter can make it characters like my own meadow or much like fair for this fairy absolute nightmare to deal with oh yeah i heard a lot of people say fairy is a nightmare to deal with i haven't played her but i seen like my friend play and then other people play her online and she seems like a real pain to play with especially with her whip her whip has a long range and she has like her animals too that she can use as well she just seems like a very annoying character to deal with so not only you got belial that's like very annoying to play with but you got fairy who has a good long range and that weapon is just a lot of things you can a lot of people can spam that weapon i've seen it before and it just gets really annoying can make her just like my own mature could be very very absolutely points of the finding game is slowly as you're in your way if you have your way to knock back out easily this will make the game much more frustrating to play especially for a character like source who always struggles in matchups yep i talked about that because my friend told me it is not fun maining source or playing against people who don't main source it's just very annoying so a new offense mechanism such as the roman cancel system can make a character like Belial six who are already keep their opponents locked in pressure for a very long time even more oppressive cause the matchup that are already very difficult to become even worse potentials even worth not trying to play since these characters already shut down some fighters really hard once they're really close yeah especially for Belial. Belial is just just very annoying to deal with and I wouldn't want to deal with Belial either and hopefully they just nerf like Six and Belial or Fairy because those characters are just like too much if you're just like up close to them it feels like there's no way to defeat them because the character is just not good. To put it bluntly, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has a real chance of experience a big stage. It was robbed back in 2020 seeing CN Games and Arc City's work openly trying to rock the boat and when so close to getting, we always wanted a nerve wrecking. The light in the end of the tunnel is a course of that the balance team in charge of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has done a very solid job so far. And address many concerns with the game in state and timely fashion and constantly work to make the game better product. With many players who were great consistently gotten more and more solid as evidenced further by growing interest in its now offline competition and back on the table. The mood in general right now seems cautiously optimistic, but reasonably concerned. It is hard to blame anyone for the feeling that way. Whenever the case, we'll finally find out what's next for Bearable Fantasy Versus. Later this week, when the patch rolls out with a video presentation of the new mechanics and actions later to be released on the day before the patch goes live, I enjoy Granville Fantasy versus a great deal ever since its launch and have been already paid both my flights to Hotel and Evil 2022 to compete in the game I enjoyed the last two years. I want to place my trust in the team behind it and the game since largely seen the right in the direction so far. But I'm simply feeling that something is about to go terribly wrong for the hard, very hard shake. Hopefully I'll feel forced to eat my crow in a few days when the patch turns out to be amazing. Evolution are a really fantastic game. I really do hope that it doesn't work. I really do hope that it is really good and people don't have to worry about it because now that I'm reading it, I am kind of worried. Although I do just play characters, I'm lucky enough for me that I just pick a character from me. I just pick a character that's like, I like their design or they're very cute. Coincidentally, Charlotte is like top tier. I don't know how that happened, but she's like top tier. So at least that's good i never really had any trouble with any other character um maybe matura because i do play matura and a lot of people say she's not really great to fight against either with other people so you know that side but i only play charlotte and other characters so and zoe zoe is really good too zoe is like probably i don't know mid tier i don't know what the tier character is but she's probably near the top or middle because she's really good but with her dragon too so Hopefully this goes well. I might just have to look up on our Twitter just to see it. So hope you guys show this video. Like, comment, subscribe, visit these. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye, little roses.